Welcome back. I want to use this free version of Scholarly Online and uh, I'm going to show you how it works. It's a flashcard generator. So, for example, if you've got a literature review to do, you know yourself it's loads of pieces of academic work which you have to, which you must achieve knowledge and understanding on specific topics. So that way you need to do a lot of research, a lot of reading. And what a lot of students do is they just pull out keywords or skim read and you can miss a lot. So this could be quite handy. I know there's a full version of this, but I'll try and get a copy later on and do a full video on this for you. So let's have a look at the free version. I think I can use it once or twice online, but it gives you a little feel of it. So at the top here, you can says it uses artificial intelligence, which it creates interactive summary flashcards for you. And that way it just breaks things down into section and flashcards for you to work with. So what I'm going to do quickly, let's come up here. Uh, I've got some work there that I want to put in there. Say it's something to do with law. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to save it to my downloads. Now I'm going to select the upload paper option and I'm going to in, I'm going to upload it onto Scholar C. And here we go. You can see it uploading and working away. And hopefully it should create some flashcards for me to work with. There we go. Now if I come down, you can see what it's done already. So I've got summary flashcards. I can download these with the download option, so I can export to Word, PowerPoint. Also, I might go, actually I need to look at the abstract quickly. Or synopsis, come down here, leave some synopsis for it, have a quick read. Maybe highlights, so it pull out highlights for you as well. So it just helps, so instead of just skim reading through something quickly, you get a better general look at the article. We've got comparative analysis. Again, come down, you can see where it's highlighted it for you. So we can download that as well. So I could, for example, download it to Microsoft Word, open it up, and then I can work with that. As you can see, it's broken it all down for me. So I can go to specific parts of that article quickly and efficiently. Another quick option, go to options here. You can choose images offer on. So any images in the articles. Now if you put it on, actually it can take a lot longer to process, so bear that in mind. And download options, because you might want summary or detailed. So again, if you do detailed, you can get a lot longer time for that to process. And on the left, you've got your language option there using Google Translator. Now that's just a simple online version. You go top right to start free. You can fill in and try this for two weeks I believe to see if you like that or not but we'll do I will do a full video on this at a later date just to give you a feel of it thanks for watching